In this next problem, you're asked to determine the magnitude of the momentum of a system of two objects. One has a mass of 6 kilograms and a velocity of 20 meters per second to the north. And the second one has a mass of 3 kilograms and a velocity of 20 meters to the south. Again, let's choose a direction for um, north and one for south. And again, if we stick with the conventions, the norms that we have in, on the compass, and you know, we always have that north is up and south is down, just as we did before with east is to the right and west to the left. And remember, if we look at Cartesian axes, these are always the positive side. So north in this case is what we're going to use for positive, the positive direction. Now, just to summarize the information that we've been given in the problem, we have the following. We have that the mass of object number one is six kilograms. Its velocity is 20 meters per second. It's going north, and therefore we use um, the uh, we use a, a positive sign on it to indicate north. The second object is 3 kilograms. It's moving to the south at 20, so we use a negative sign to indicate its direction. Again, remember, as before, that the momentum of the system is just the sum of the momenta of the individual objects, and the momentum is m1 times v1 in the first case, and m2 times v2 in the second case. Now let's go ahead and substitute the values in here. So for M1, we had 6 kilograms and uh, 20 meters per second. And for the second object, we have 3 kilograms and negative 20 meters per second. So if we do the math, we have 120 kilogram meters per second moving to the right. And we have negative 60, that's 3 times negative 20, kilogram meters per second moving to the left. If we add these together, we get 60 kilogram meters per second. That's the magnitude, that's how big it is. But notice that the sign is positive, the 120 is greater than the, six, the negative 60, so the direction here is going to be to the north. 